So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up this wireless network card. So we're going to go ahead and open up our terminal. I'm going to make this larger so everybody can see it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we only have the wireless network card that we want on this Kali machine. So to do that, we're going to type in ifconfig, and this is going to show us every network adapter that's currently on this computer. You'll notice there's two. There's LO, which stands for loopback, and that one is going to be on every machine, whether you have a network connection or not. It is the machine that calls itself. And then we have WLAN0, and this WLAN0 is the wireless network card, that USB card that we have just installed. So what we want to do is first we need to take that card down so we can reconfigure it. And to do that, we're going to do ifconfig, and then the name of the card, which is WLAN0, and then down. And you'll see we get the prompt. So now if we do ifconfig, you'll see that it is no longer listed there. We have taken this card offline so we can make changes to it. And the way we're going to make changes to it is we're going to use a program called iwconfig. And the way we do this is we're going to type in iwconfig, the card that we want to configure, in this case WLAN0. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it into promiscuous mode, also known as monitor mode. And that is going to allow us to look and listen to every piece of traffic on the network, whether it's listening to us or not. So normally when you have network traffic going around, the MAC address, there's a sender and a receiver MAC address. And so if you're not the receiver, and your, every card is going to see all traffic that comes to it, but when it doesn't hear its name or its MAC address, it just ignores that traffic and lets it pass on the network. What we're telling our network card here to do in monitor mode is listen to every piece of traffic, whether or not it was addressed to you or not. So if I'm sitting in a room and people are talking to Heather and Mary and John and David, I would just think of I put my hands over my ears and went, no, 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 I'm not listening because you didn't say Jason. Well, when I go to monitor mode, I'm going to listen to everything, whether you said Jason or not. And so I can log all that information and use that in an attack later on. And that's what we're going to be doing here. So now that we have done that, what we want to do is verify that it's in monitoring mode. And to do that, we're going to type iwconfig. And you can see here that the WLAN 0, wireless network 0, is in monitor mode. So it is working properly at this point. So the next thing we want to do is we need to turn the card back on. And so we'll do that by doing ifconfig, and then WLAN0, and then up. And then to confirm that works, we're going to type ifconfig again. And you can see that our card is back up, but we are now in monitoring mode. And you can see that again by doing the iwconfig. And you'll see that we have an up card and it is in monitoring mode. So now we're ready to start working on the network. So now we have our card in monitor mode and we can do all of the listening we want. But what if we want to put this card back to the way it was? Well, what we're going to do there is we are going to, again, turn off the card, reconfigure it, and this time we'll put it in what's called managed mode, which is the normal mode that a network card operates in. So we're going to do ifconfig WLAN0 down. That again shuts down the card, and now we can do iwconfig wlan0 mode managed. And it's going to go ahead and set that mode to manage. So if we do uh, ifconfig wlan0 up, it's going to turn that card back on. And then what we're going to do is do an ifconfig and an iwconfig to verify the settings we made are back to normal. And you can see here the wlan0 is on. And if we do iwconfig, we do see that we are back to a managed mode where it is looking for an access point. So that is the first way to take your card into or out of promiscuous mode. Now I'm going to show you a quicker way in the next lecture.